Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. We are here today to share with you a super cute hexagon mini album, if you will, um, that I made, I created. This was all my own. I'm super proud of it. And I used the beautiful paper collection, like Bees to Honey 2 by Kim Murray. It's a salty beach scrapper design. Um, this is the digital collection that just came out um, July 1st. Here is the physical collection. This was like Bees to Honey 1. So I used both papers in this um, little album that I made. Um, so the digital collection is different. Um, well, obviously it's bee themed and it has some of the same elements to coordinate perfectly with the physical paper. Um, but it also includes um, cardstock that matches perfectly. Um, I did print that out in here as well. Um, it also has an embellishment page, which you're kind of looking at it. Obviously, I used some of the embellishments. As you can see, they're cut out. What in the world did I do to this bag? I'm trying to put this piece back in here and I messed up the bag. Um, there we go. And um, that's the embellishment piece. So I have a HP Office Jet Pro 9015. And I just use regular white cardstock. This cardstock came from Sam's Club. Um, it's a regular, I don't know, it says it's a 110 pound weight, but it's not. It's probably more like 65, 70. But it's just white cardstock. You know, you can use whatever you have. Um, the ink came out beautifully on it. I didn't change any ink settings or anything like that because I don't know how to do that. So <laughs> it came out beautifully. All right. So, like I said, I did use both the physical that I purchased and also the digital collection. Now, I just have some scraps left over and some, um, excuse me, some hexagons left over. So um, this was the digital collection. Obviously it's gonna be white on the other side. Here's a piece of the digital collection. This was one of the physical papers. This was from the digital collection. So I just kind of cut everything up um, to how I needed it to be. Um, that's from the physical. So it was really cute. I got to use a lot of the different parts. I mean, I figured I'm actually making this for someone and I figured I would go ahead and include all of these scraps in case she wanted to make tags or matching cards. Um, this, this paper right here actually was the very last page of my album. It had a, a, a honey jar. Um, this one had, I think a bicycle. I ended up not using a bicycle and honestly, I don't know what I did with it, but it was just a big bicycle like that. Um, and then you have your queen bee with the green. And I think that's all the papers I have left of the, um, digital collection. So there, there was only one page that I did not print. Um, it was a Parisian lady. Um, I just forgot to print it, so I didn't use it. So anyway. All right. So here is my book. And my book is just bound with some rings. Um, and I use these. Sun, the bigger sunflowers came from Hobby Lobby. The little ones came from Dollar Tree. I just used an image from the paper collection, um, the physical paper collection. I just thought it was really pretty to be a cover. Um, my partner can still put her, you know, you can still put a title. Um, I cut out some bees. Um, I highlighted them in a little circle. And as you can see, all the shimmer, I used a close to my heart gold, like Wink Stella pen. And what I did was I just went around the pillars. You can see that gold shimmer on there just to give it that accent. And I used some um, glitter gels to kind of give, you know, like faux rhinestones. Thought that was cute. And then I um, I needed the beautiful to be the, the yellow of the of the sunflowers. And so I just kind of went over it a couple times with the gold pen to kind of mute it a little bit because it was a bright yellow. So here's the book. So I will show you the front pages and then we'll go back and do the back pages, okay? So here is the first page. It is so cute. So I did a little flip. Here is one of the um, 
solid printable colors and I inked it with brown just to kind of give it like a sunflower look I guess is what I was going for so there's that page and like I said I'll show you the back pages and when I flip it here's a fun this one I'm gonna have to, a fun flip here and it does have a magnet like so And then this bottom page has a magnet as well and you open it up and you open it out. So just lots and lots of um, places for photos to journal. Um, as you can see the little hints of glitter, I took that same uh, close to my heart pen and just added like little glitter accents here and there. This one you can even fold down, that's just that's not magnetized. That's my pockets. So this one here is a large waterfall. So it just again has one of those solid colors on the back. And I didn't I didn't dec heavily decorate this um, because this is my style. I'm very clean and simple. So for me, I would love to just like have some journaling and have my picture be the forefront. But I am, uh, you know, whenever you give something to someone, you know, I always include some of the pieces of the paper. So in case they want to um, add more stuff, they can. I did a little tuck spot on this one. Actually, I think the B is a tuck spot as well. Yeah, so you can just kind of tuck your picture up under there like so. And then here's another one of those beautiful pieces um, of the purchase paper. When I say purchase, I mean physical, not purchase, you know, obviously they both are purchased, but physical paper. And then my very last page, I did some fussy cutting. I cut out the honey pot. Um, I just thought the honey pot was really beautiful. Um, I added, well, the honey pot came with the flowers in it. I added this um, flower embellishment that came with the collection. And one of the beehives came with the collection, and I don't know if it can catch all the glitter. Um, I took some glossy accents and outlined the honey. I did some uh, faux nail heads around with glossy accents. I got some glitter gel going on here, but everything is glittered up. The bees have some glitter on there. The little butterfly has glitter on there. So I thought that was really cute. Now let's look at the back pages. So this one I just left alone. If you want to put your picture there, um, you know, anything you want. Maybe add a little tuck spaces. And this can fit a full four by six photo. Um, so this is just the photo I had on my desk. So I know it doesn't go with the theme, but. All right. So here is the back page to this one. This is a pocket, like a half pocket. Again, you can add your pictures. You can add, I just made this little tag to kind of go in there. Another little tag. So just whatever, you know, use your scraps. These were all scraps that I had. And then this page is super fun. There's a magnet right here. So it comes out like this and it shows this beautiful bicycle. And again, if you have like a two by three picture, you can put it here, you can journal. Um, I know this is bigger than two by three, but you know, if you had a small picture, those little, you know, those, um, the little school pictures, like the one by twos, those would fit perfectly here. Um, but I just really wanted to keep this page um, open and just see the beautiful, um, you know, picture, you could put a, a name here and then do a journal thing. A date would be really nice. Like if this was kind of like a wedding or something like that, you could just put the date right here and then just kind of put your um, journaling there. There's a room for picture here. Um, so there's that. And then this is another pocket here. So I just kind of added a floating bee, some little lacy stuff and then just some you know mat tags or photo mats this would be really cute if you you know cut your picture down and you could just kind of have it on the photo mat like so you can use the back you can write on it with a gel ink pen 
all of that would be super duper cute. And then I just kind of highlighted some of the sunflowers. This was just some of the scrap. I thought it went perfectly right there just to kind of give it that extra um, pizzazz. And again, it's glittered. And then here's the Be Beautiful. The Be Beautiful is glittered as well. And then here is the back of the cover. So I just really love this little... Um, French page, a little bicycle, all that super cute. And so obviously when you have the book yourself, you're going to enjoy it not laying down. You'll enjoy it this way. Um, it does stand up by itself. And so, um, you know, you can have it displayed on your living room, um, coffee table. It's just a beautiful display piece. The back I left blank. Again, you could put your picture back there. Um, you could do some journaling. Um, whatever you want. So this paper was one of the digital and I don't know if you can see that it has digital shimmer and glitter. Um, oh my gosh, I think I glittered my hand. But yeah, so it's super beautiful. I love it. I just tied it together. Well, I didn't tie it together, but I added some black and white ribbon trim. You know, you can go all out. You could put eyelash trim. You can uh, maybe put some twine. Um, whatever you want to kind of cover up the binder clips, but yeah, that's what I made. And you guys definitely check out Kim Murray. This is like bees to a honey, um, digital collection and the physical collection. Well, thanks for watching guys. Bye.